Today is the feast day of Pope Benedict's patron saint, a man who is considered the founder of monasticism for both men and women in the Western Church. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and after he chose the name Benedict, the Holy Father said this, I ask him to help us all to hold firm to the centrality of Christ in our Christian life. May Christ always take first place in our thoughts and actions. A few years later, in one of his weekly audiences, Pope Benedict said the following about his namesake. Today, I would like to speak about Benedict, the founder of Western monasticism, and also the patron of my pontificate. St. Benedict was born around the year 480. His well-to-do parents sent him to study in Rome. However, he did not stay long in the Eternal City. Benedict was put off by the dissolute lifestyle of many of his fellow students and did not wish to make the same mistakes. He wanted only to please God. St. Benedict's life was steeped in an atmosphere of prayer, the foundation of his existence. Without prayer, there is no experience of God. Yet, Benedict's spirituality was not an interiority removed from reality. In the anxiety and confusion of his day, he lived under God's gaze, and in this very way, never lost sight of the duties of daily life and of man with his practical needs. Seeing God, he understood the reality of man and his mission. Benedict states that in the first place prayer is an act of listening, which must then be expressed in action. Quote, the Lord is waiting every day for us to respond to his holy admonitions by our deeds.